Welcome to this month's installment of Fiber Tips and Tricks, where I'll be talking to you about extension links, why they're needed, and when they need to be used when dead-ending ADSS cable. The purpose of an extension link is to provide a greater distance between your dead end and the structure. This greater standoff distance allows for ADSS cables to have a smooth transition out of the back of the dead end and around the structure, assuring that your ADSS cable does not exceed its minimum bend radius. While not always required, perform wire dead ends with an added layer of structural reinforcing rods, extension links are required as the structural reinforcing rods extend beyond the applied section of the dead end. Without an extension link, there is not enough clearance from the structure for the product or space to ensure proper bend radius around the pole. This can be seen on PLP's limited, medium, and high tension dead ends as they all include a layer of structural reinforcing rods and require the use of an extension link when installed. For single layer dead ends, extension links can be provided but are not always necessary. Necessity can be determined by the construction of the line and whether an additional standoff distance is required to maintain the minimum bend radius of your specific cable. Thanks for joining us on this episode of PLP's Fiber Tips and Tricks.